city in a Batmobile. Even though it get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze. What up? This is day 73 of Swayze not receiving his silver play button. But before I get into the video, let me reintroduce you people to my new and reoccurring best friends. Now, first up the bat is E. Flox, and he says, Buy you that strawberry in Kiwi, Arizona. I will. I will buy that E. Flox. Next up is Peanut. What's good, girl? I hope everything is well. I ain't hear from you in a while. But she says, WTF, I'm not getting your videos notifications. Wait, hold on. You hit the bell and everything and they still not notifying you? I don't, I don't even know what to do about that, Peanut. But thank you for bringing that to my attention. Now, last but not least is my boy, Alex. And he says, get you some Cocoa Puffs when you're not dealing with the Cocoa Felons. I don't eat cereal. I like to make a smoothie in the morning. But thank you to all of you people who contribute to the bacon, egg, and cheese and Ziploc bag fund. And if you too want to become one of Swayze's new best friends, all you got to do is just hit that cash app. I'm from Brooklyn for real. You can literally buy my friendship. But let's get into it, guys, because there's a lot going on. Now, I don't know if you can tell by my voice or not, but I'm sad, guys. There's been a dark cloud just hovering over Gotham City. Now, I'm going to tell it to y'all just like this. Gotham City is in a state of emergency because New York City's power couple, the Jay-Z and Beyonce of Drill, decided to call it quits, guys. Yes, as you can see from your screen, Nas EBK and Jada Kingdom split up. What is love? This was legit my favorite couple. A power couple. So this one hurts, you know? What does this mean for me and my chicks if Jada and Nas ain't together no more? What does this mean for my love life if Jada and Nas ain't make it? Huh? Love don't exist, bruh. If this power couple can't make it through the test of times, there's no hope out there for any of us. So please, somebody get this message to her. Jada Kingdom, take Nas BK back. He didn't do it. Whatever he did, he didn't mean it. He's sorry. Nazi BK is a good guy. You remember, he reached out to see how pops. One of the few people to reach out to see how pops. Give him a chance to explain himself. Jada, don't send him back to the Bronx. But all jokes aside, I hope they figure everything out. And also, if you guys were not aware, it looks like Drake flew out the Coco felons from Sugar Hill. Yes, guys, apparently he flew out Didi Osama and DDOT. And if you think about it, you gotta admit, Drake is paying close attention. First Queen Smoochie Block, now the little Coco Felons geeking off of the Flintstones vitamins. The chewable ones, of course. Drake knows what he's doing. He's definitely in tune, but you guys already know. Once this news went viral... The K-sexuals and the DD dick riders start going back and forth with each other, bruh. All over the internet. The DDs was like, hey, hmm, K Flockington never got to this level. Mm -mm. Indeed, indeed, he never got to this level, no. Never got flewed out by Drake, no. Not by Shen Pagan Puppy. He never got, never got to this level. Mm -mm. Indeed, indeed. And the K-sexuals was like, preposterous, mm -mm. no. A Drake co-sign doesn't mean anything. Indeed, he got flued out, but that does not make him better than K. Flockington. No, no, indeed, indeed. And all hell just broke loose, bro. It was crazy. Now, I'm going to tell it to y'all just like this. If you ask me, this is a good thing. This is a good thing. First of all, Drake's showing that he's obviously in tune with what's going on in Gotham City is a big deal. But the only thing I'm sad about is, can you imagine if Sugar Hill Keem, Mr. Move, look, the best lyricist of our generation was out right now to enjoy all of this? 
The face of Harlem. Niggas know what's up. Cardi B. Who the fuck is you? That's the only thing I'm kind of sad about. Like, bro, I'm telling you. If Drake think that Didi Osama and D-Dot is nice, pfft, he don't want to listen to Sir Kingsworth. And I have a question for you guys. And look, before you say yo, Swayze, you bugging, hear me out. Hear me out real quick. All right, listen, listen. This is the theory that I came up with. Drake knows about Queen Smoochie Block. And he flewed her out before she unfollowed me for not following her back, right? Also, he was seen chilling with the Coco felons. Do you guys think that Drake knows of me? Eh? Eh? I know, I know, I know. I'm bugging, right? I'm bugging. Yeah, y'all right, y'all right. I'm bugging, I'm bugging. Right. Who, who do I think I am? Who do I think I am? You think some low life from Brooklyn who wears Levi's is on Drake's radar? Y'all right, y'all right. Let me chill. But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. And if you like the video, don't forget to share, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off this. Middle of the top. If I never was rapping, I'm trying to make news in that bitch, I'll be